Hey fam, Aqua to my space. Thank you for the love and subscription so far. Today I want to share with you how I make my delicious and spicy shito. This is a Ghanaian sauce that goes with rice, bread, gari, and a lot more. But me, I'm going to have this with banku and kina. Come along with me on this sweet spicy journey. Let's go. For this recipe, I'm going to be using dried anchovies and originally we used dried herrings but i'm going to be using this one and it does the job perfectly and then i've got my dried shrimps which i'm going to blend and then three large onions five garlic cloves and one large ginger so that's about two to three tablespoons of tomato paste and then i'm going to be spicing it with rosemary and two seasoning cubes so this is the main ingredient that's powdered pepper but i'm not going to use all i'm going to start by taking off the skin of the ginger i am the worst person when it comes to this and whenever i use a knife i end up throwing half of the ginger away <laughs> so i prefer using a spoon and it's so easy So I'm going to cut this ginger into pieces and blend it together with the onion and the garlic. So that's one and a half cups of powdered shrimps which I just blended. And then that's one cup of dried fish, that's the anchovies, and which I've blended as well. So I just like to leave um, you know, pieces of the fish in there so that I can have something to munch on whenever I'm eating the shito. And that's our blended up ingredient that's onion garlic ginger and that's one liter of oil and we are ready to start in a dry pan i'll pour my oil and then leave it on fire to heat up once it's very hot you add your blended ingredient and then stir it to fry it very well so shito goes bad quickly when it contains moisture so i'll need to fry this very well to make sure there's no moisture and then i'll add some rosemary and fry as well i'll keep stirring so that i don't bend the onions and once it's well fried it begins to separate just like this I'm now going to add my tomato paste and stir it to incorporate well with the onions and leave it to fry as well But you have to keep stirring as you go so that it does not burn you don't want to eat burnt shit all <laughs> so once this is well fried you then add your um, powdered pepper to it and i like to add this in bits and then i taste as i go because i don't want to add too much or too little i just want to have the exact taste i want And I'll add my fish powders that's the shrimp and the anchovies and then I'll mix it all together and this is the last step of the shito as you can see it has gone dry and the oil has run out so I'm gonna add some oil to it And then I'm going to add um, some cubes to it. I like to add this at the end because you know the fish is salty as well. So you want to regulate the salt as much as possible and then not overwhelm it. So yeah, I'm going to leave it to simmer for about 5 to 10 minutes. And then we are done. I'm going to leave this to cool for as long as it needs. And then when it's completely cool, I'll distribute it into smaller bottles and then pack them straight into the freezer because I want to maintain the freshness level. <laughs> mm. 
Mm. This shito was so delicious. I had the papa in one I hope you tried, okay? As you can see, I had it with variety of meals. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please, please, please subscribe and join me on this amazing journey. <laughs> I'll see you in my next video. Ciao.